Hi guys and welcome back. Today I have a special product to show you guys. And if you didn't heard about it yet, I'm sure you will. This is the new TBS Unify Pro Evo, which comes most certainly from Evolution, because this is what it is. An evolution in the VTX uh, category and I will uh, try and do my best to tell you guys what this new VTX is and what it brings new to the table yeah so looking at uh, the VTX it has uh, basically the same size as the previous ones let me find one just to compare the size So the size is basically identical with the old um, Pro HV. On the other side we can see one massive MCU and of course uh, this is the RTC IC generating the RF and modulation. And here we see a bunch of um, connections possible to this uh, VTX. We have the LiPo input which is a 6S capable ground 5 volt output for powering on the camera the FPV camera we have another uh, ground we have video and we have a serial here which they um, named crossfire but uh, actually this port here could be used as crossfire and smart audio 2.1 also here on the top we have an uh, exterior port which as you can see has a ground 5 volt for powering something and we have a serial in here so I guess this one could also work on crossfire for different sensors you would uh, need to connect to the VTX let's talk about the design and what they have um, added to it basically from what I've seen it's uh, the same design we found uh, on um, previous Unify Pro HV 800mW uh, versions made a little bit smaller and they added a lot of features and the biggest addition to this VTX is the OSD which um, is made without using the Max IC everybody is using for generating OSD but uh, TBS decided to throw in their design. I guess you can find it on the Core Pro um, lineup from TBS, which has a great uh, OSD made out entirely uh, with some components and MCU. So basically firmware microphone here, which is very good for those that uh, use audio when they fly. They added a USB connection for updating the firmware or even uh, setting up things on the VTX. You also find the same button for controlling. Also the two LEDs we are used to on Unifies. But uh, instead of only three menus, we now have a lot of other menus. But I will get to that later. We have the UFL connection here, which they mounted in the middle. Maybe because uh, they thought that this is a more uh, robust mounting solution. Also here is a PCB overhang where they used some uh, heat shrink to have um, more sturdy connection for the pigtail. This VTX is also capable of 800 milliwatts like the ones before. You would need to unlock it of course but all the details uh, for that you will find them in the manual. The power levels have changed a little because now we have only 25, 100. 400 and 800 of course I will not talk about build quality and all of that because we all know that uh, TBS um, does a great job on uh, build quality I liked very much what they have done here providing us with um, solder pads if we don't want to use um, connectors or maybe the connectors got uh, broken in a crash or something so yeah not much else uh, I can um, tell you but uh, definitely I can show you the menu and the OSD right now okay so I will power it from uh, 25 volt so as you can see we have um, the OSD from the camera up in the middle 
and down below we have the OSD coming from the VTX itself we have a name down there TBS and it tells us the channel which is the E6 and it has now 25 milliwatt and the voltage on the input it's 24.9 volts I actually set my uh, power supply to 25 volt but I guess uh, this calibration is a little bit off but not that uh, much so it will be a little bit tricky because uh, I have uh, my goggles and I also have to keep the tweezers on the button so if I hold the button down we enter the menu as you can see we have a bunch of uh, other menus from what we have uh, been used to for example before we had only three menus first for channel second for band and the third for power right now if you can see the six flashes and if I press once it goes to channel one two three four for it's uh, unusable I guess and that's why it jumped to 5 and 6 if I want to go to the band I will keep the button down a little bit more and it goes to band if I keep it down again for more than uh, 2 seconds I guess it goes to power and so on I keep it more than 2 seconds it goes to the next menu and if I press uh, momentarily it changes the setting so as you can see here we have a temperature limit and it's set to 60 Celsius I don't know what happens when this limit is reached maybe the power is diminished or something we have a pit mode which we can set to on I guess we have the data port which I set to smart audio and uh, be sure that uh, you set on your flight controller uh, smart audio 2.1 because this uh, 2.1 is a little bit different than uh, 2.0 we have the mic which is on right now pressing down more than 2 seconds we go to OSD and here we have white black off but we don't want it off and white again going to the next menu we have exterior port and I set it to off but if I press it we can see C sensor and I guess this is a current sensor and off so I guess in this firmware which is a pre-release firmware this is the only thing possible on the exterior port and right now I just uh, went back to the um, normal um, OSD and as you can see the voltage is uh, now 25.1 but my power supply is still set up on 25 so I guess um, the MCU has a little bit of drift with uh, temperature but that's to be expected okay guys so another cool thing I noticed while I was sitting with the VTX powered on on the table is that here there is a third LED which started blinking red and I suspect that uh, from the temperature limit we saw in the menu and because I was sitting with the VTX powered on on the table for a long time I guess it reached that 60 degrees limit we saw but uh, the temperature limit uh, could be raised um, for your particular setup uh, what do I think about this VTX? well it brings a lot of things to the table it's the same size as um, a normal uh, Unify Pro HV it's definitely a little bit more expensive but uh, I guess it's obvious because it brings uh, OSD microphone crossfire protocol capability USB which is a very big plus because now you can actually feature proof your VTX and uh, change uh, firmware yeah my uh, verdict is that uh, this is another piece of great um, VTX from uh, TBS and there are a lot of situations where you don't have OSD or your OSD is very limited like on wings especially 
and I hope I uh, bring some uh, interesting information about this new VTX. Thank you again very much for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, like and share if you enjoy this and uh, see you next time. Bye.